Weather Authority forecast. Welcome back, everybody. Let's get you updated on these storms. We've got some early AM storms that started last night, and they're getting pretty wild in some areas. We're seeing a lot of rain uh, making pretty much the line up from Ector. Uh, all the way up to Andrews and Gaines County. You can see the thunderstorms activity going on right here. Uh, these are mostly the places seeing most of the thunderstorms. We saw a lot heavier storms over uh, in southeastern New Mexico a little bit earlier, giving them some flooded uh, flood warnings that are still in effect. But uh, the storm's definitely a lot stronger earlier uh, in the evening hours. You saw around 2 o'clock a.m. These storms really picked up. But since then, they have died down quite a bit, though we are going to keep these flood uh, warnings in effect for the next couple of days. We're going to go into Tuesday with these, and that's mainly due to um, the fact that we're seeing more rain activity on the way, about a 50% chance in going into Monday, Tuesday, a 40% chance, and we have these flood warnings that are in effect in Andrews and Gaines County until about 10 a.m. on Monday. Now, we're expecting more rain chances, as you can see on our radar. It's only going to pick up from here. More rain chances all the way through Monday, continuing into Tuesday. But hopefully that will make a difference in this almanac. 92 for the high from yesterday. That was right on average. Only a couple degrees above average for the low. So after we saw the 70s for a high earlier last week, we got back into the 90s for the weekend. But fortunately, we're expected to see these temperatures dipping down into the 80s for our high for the next couple days. And we... Uh, don't really complain when that happens, right? But temperatures across the basin, very nice. 73 in Big Springs, seeing the 60s just about everywhere in the Central Basin and the Northern Transpeak is still seeing the 70s down in the Big Bend at 72. And we're also seeing a decent amount of wind, 24 all the way out in the Guadalupe Mountains, 10 in Wing, 10 in Odessa Midland. So really, the trend we've been seeing with thunderstorms lately, we get a lot of rain with them, but we really don't get too much wind with them. You know, we're seeing 10 mile an hour wind speeds, not really that strong for how we've seen some thunderstorms in the past, getting all the way up to 20 to 25 mile an hour wind speeds and wind gusts exceeding 30 miles an hour. But we are going to have a lot of humidity in the air this week. Not really going to dry up until later on in the week because got more thunderstorm chances. Going to keep a lot of moisture in the air for the next couple of days. That's a change in scenery for once, you know, we're not, we'll take it. We'll take it will take it. Temperatures for today are uh, going to be a pretty nice day throughout the Permian Basin. High 70s in the Northern Basin, 77 Lovington, 77 Hobbs, 80s in Jow, Carlsbad, La Mesa, Seminole, Andrews, Big Spring, and Gale. While going into the Central Basin, we'll expect to see high 80s tonight. Could be seeing some low 80s. Depends on the thunderstorm activity. Really, 86 in Crane Rankin, 87. 87 in Odessa Midland. That's very nice. Trans Pecos tonight, uh, today, 82 in Pecos. Balmoray, 79. Fort Stockton, 81. Bakersfield, 83. Sanderson, 83. And then going into the mountains, expect temperatures. Uh, not to get too strong today. 70s in Marfa. Valentine, 70s. Fort Davis, 71. Presidio in the Big and though they'll get back up into the 80s today uh, as usual very hot right along the border seven day forecast this is nice 50 percent chance of thunderstorms today 40 percent chance on tuesday and wednesday but what we're really excited about is seeing these temperatures get out of the 90s and drop back down into the 80s as low as 86 this week for a high and that will take place on tuesday so a little bit of rain never hurt anybody, no. but we would prefer for it to not flood. Well, that, and I tell you what, I never thought I would get out of those triple digits. Mm -hmm. It seems like it was just yesterday, but we're already almost in the 70s. August, August got off to a very hot start, but it's really starting to cool down towards it the end. It sure did. All right. Thank you for that, Ryan. And we first